Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Imlad Race campaign. So, we are going to deal with Rune here. And afterwards, well, finally, should we be able to... Uh, we should be able to finish off here on Erin Runen. Now, I'm going to start moving my diplomat... Uh, not my diplomat, my spy. Just make sure there are no surprises around, you know, full stacks or anything like that. In the meantime, this guy, finally, it's going to leave the Dol Guldur stuff and it's gonna go after the shadow of Mirkwood. So let's check it out. End the turn. Now Rune, don't go away please and certainly don't bring any more men. I certainly don't want to be facing like this many armies of Rune at this point. No, I can face one or two at the same time but come on five it's pushing it. So hopefully that's that's not the case here. Okay, Harad is not doing anything. Rune, what are you doing? What are you doing, Rune? Come on! I did the tag! Okay, there, there they are. Well, th that's not the dude. The one is in Dunlarak. Oh, it's here. Oh boy. Failed invasion! Finally, you failed! You suck. You're really bad. Isengard has been destroyed. Oh. Well, the good factions are actually winning. Pretty well, I must say. No, most of the evil factions have, have gone by this time. Well, I guess, I guess my uh, job is nearly completed there. Oh, I can get a fairground here. Should I? How much does it give me? Not too much. Not too much. Let me check the Oh, I can get a crop rotation here, which actually lets me increase my population, which is good. I need population, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't care. I should have been building them first. You know, e everything that gives growth is good. Because growth is so bad on 3rd age, come on. I've never seen a, a mod that delays so much on the growth. Okay, let's go for this. There's no more invasions, so... Yeah, watchtower here, watchtower there, everywhere there's a watchtower. Okay, I don't know where that rune army went. Let's put a watchtower here. That's it. And certainly we need to take care... Oh, that's... it's this army? I don't know if it is. Let's merge my forces. I hit M here. Bo Quindy with 66. And I have a gold piece. I have a gold piece. I'm so powerful now. I'm so powerful. Now let's fight Ormer. But as you can see, I would prefer to be here. Because of the higher ground. Oh, damn you. Damn you. I didn't notice that. Didn't notice that. Now, do I have my units? Not yet. Next turn. Next turn, we're going to have some more units. More units. Now, over here, it's one turn for them to realize that they should have sallied out. So they will probably sally out. Let's go for an end turn now. Let's go for an end turn now. Finally, we're going to get the siege done. If they don't even attack me, then it's so good. It's so good, actually. Come on. Shadow Mercury, please don't do anything. Don't do anything. That will be one last battle that we already won. To be fair, that's that's exactly it. There's no way they can do anything there. Well, they can kill a few of my men, of course. Yeah, they are sailing. They're sailing out. Whoa, that's one, two, three, four, five. I changed my mind. That's a nine-star general. With a lot of Mirkwood guys, some blade masters. Those wargs will die at the first volley. So I gotta make sure that my archers are actually properly deployed. So I'm what usually happens here is that, uh, well, most of the time people pause this uh, this type of battles just so they can, you know, uh, put everyone in their place first. But usually I don't like doing that. So what I'm going to do is immediately start moving my troops and making sure that everyone is in their place. Okay, so what we have here... Oh, you gotta drop the equipment. That's it. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. And now archers. 
group up. Now, where are his troops? There you go. There you are. Let's run into position. Actually, you're gonna go like this. Group up. Move forward. Actually? Yeah. Let's go. Move forward. Cavalry, let's go. You stop that. And you're gonna deploy here. Run into position. So fast forward a little bit. Little tiny bit. That's it. What, what is over there? Oh, he's actually properly deploying, I would say. But at least a few of his Mirkwood Stalkers and all Huldur Blade Masters are gonna suffer here. Okay. Infantry forces. I guess moving like this would be a good idea. You archers, you're certainly going to move here. Because you're not still attacking. We're gonna leave these three units who are. And this other dude who is. Let's see it. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay, I'm managing to deploy properly here. So a few of these units are going to die just by my archers, which is always nice. Always nice. My infantry will certainly need to deploy properly. Like this appears to be better. Yes, just counting on their other units. In the meantime, you can see that he is suffering heavy losses. How many men have, has he lost? 14% already. And look at this. Kamul Shadow Rangers. Do you see them? Then you're not going to see them for too long. Yeah. I know, you know, black is really not camouflage material when you're in the snow, dudes. I don't know if you realize that, but oh well. Okay, those Mirkwood Hunters, those are skirmishers as well. Uh, some Mirkwood Stalkers. He's trying to approach with all his forces, but he's not going to do too much. Yeah, he's not going to do too much now. I don't believe so. Okay, these Dolgul Dublin Masters are going to do some things. Yeah, well, well, right now, I need you guys to take over there. At least you guys. Let's see the other ones. Certainly. That's it. Okay, should I leave everything here? Well, I certainly don't know. Those Dolgaldu Blade Masters, I'm just going to pursue them, or... Nah, my archers are dealing with everything. No, I feel like I shouldn't be doing anything else. You know, they are perfectly doing their jobs. Okay, these guys, move over there. Actually, let's hit the wargs before they do anything. Because they're trying to hit my Eldarini archers. So let's make sure that they flee before that. Or that they actually lose a lot. Okay, where is the bodyguard? There we go. That's the bodyguard. Now let's move my cavalry forward there. Okay, wargs are dead. Sword Quendi, let's charge them now. That's good. You're attacking these Dolgudu Blade Masters. No, no worries. No worries. And now everything else can do the charge that I wanted. Let's attack those Shadow Rangers. Or actually, no. Let's charge here the bodyguards. And my archers are actually trying to attack those. That's much better. Now, where are these units? There we go. Charge them over there. That's it. This way, these Dol Guldu Blade Masters and the bodyguards. Well, the Uruk bodyguard is almost dead. That's it, we lost like 6% of my men so far. Now my archers appear to be doing some good jobs. Let's try to attack this. These guys. Individually so that they don't do any masses. That way I still have some good shots for them. Are you still attacking in melee? No, you cleared them up. That's nice. Heavy cavalry, let's try and push forward. That's good. It's always nice. These guys, you're not going to push anything here. The Dol Guldu Blade Masters are only dead. General has fallen. So now it's more like trying to uh, clear up everything else. 
Let's go for it. Archers, you're going to stop your fire. Seize your fire. You're going to deploy here. That's it. Move forward. You're going to redeploy just in case that I need to go back. Now let's make sure that these are retreating and that they die. You're still fighting. I don't know why, but you still are. Did I almost get everyone? Almost get out everyone. Okay, they are leaving and everyone is leaving. Good. And the battle. Men lost 121. But finally we captured this one. Good. And I got some experience there. Here and there. It's always nice to get some good experience, dudes. It's always nice. May it soon cleave goblins once again. Yeah, it's gonna cleave some goblins. And some orcs as well. And some another hobbit. But I'm not gonna spoil anything. Sack, exterminate, or occupy. Occupy, I really don't need too much gold. Let's hit Erin Runin. Let's see if Rune attacks. Do they attack? No? No? You're not gonna do anything. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so this is actually a better one, considering everything that I've had. So I'm gonna go with him. He's he's young. New mission. Take the settlement of Tor Lingva. That's what I'm trying to do. There's no more invasions and... Oh! Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to destroy this army and then I'm gonna have to survive against this one. Can you? Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, recruitment report, of course. Four units. Now let's... Oh, I have 11,000? Okay, that's, that's something like this that's gonna happen. And a turn report. Oh, I got a lot of gold. Yeah. Construction, I cannot build anything here, but I'm sure I'll be able to recruit some other troops. Or actually to build some other stuff. Okay, what should I be building? Actually, I think Gundabad still has some mines. Mining network to do. That's it. I guess that's good. Oh, I should upgrade this Shadow City. That's what I should. That's what I should do. Upgrade the city. That's good. Do you have any recruitment to do? Well, honestly, I have. I have a few recruit units to do. That's good. It's always good and always nice. It's always good. Okay, so... Movements. Movements that I have to do. I'm gonna have to go over to this local to the capital. Oh, they have almost nothing there. That's it. And now let's start moving out of Erindrunin. Let's merge my units. And you, sir, you're going to start moving out. And you know who's going to be there? These Dunedain warriors. And certainly you're going to have low tax rate and that's about it. Good. So this guy, can, I, can you join? He can't. But no problem, because I'm going to follow with him, and he's going to stay and defend Austin Gale. Exactly what I want. And you're going to build up a tower there. And towers along the way, just because, well, I like towers. Me so like towers. Awesome. 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 Let's go for it. Okay, room. Ormar, poor Ormar. You have a Lokanarin. Have a lot of cavalry. So I certainly need to deploy my stakes. And some Loki Gram Gamprim. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 good targets. 7 including a general. And I have few archers for that. Well, doesn't matter. We should be able to deal with them fairly easily. Fairly easily. Let's go for it. So everything is going in our way. Except this new development of a lot of rune armies nearby. I certainly don't want that. Uh, hang on a second, guys. I gotta drink some water. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you. I bought a second monitor. If you don't have a second monitor, it just helps so much. I have a few notes, actually, for the, every episode now that I can watch while I'm playing, which is awesome. It's really cool. And it just helps out so much. Okay. Now, I'm not in the best position, but he doesn't have a lot of archers. So, I'm thinking that he might 
try to attack me because I have more archers than he does. So let's try and deploy and see if he tries to come against me. That's it. Deploy those stakes. Now all the other archers behind. That's always nice. Good. Now you are my troops. You're my uh, infantry forces. That's exactly where you're going to be. And cavalry. Oh boy. That's where you're going to be. Hidden. Actually, my general needs to be here because the other units are not going to show up. Group up. Shift one. Good. Start off the battle. And I'm receiving my Bo Quindy as well. That's nice. Now, I don't know if he's going to try and attack me, but I'm, I'm receiving the Bo Quindy from that direction. Okay, you're just going to move here as fast as you can. Dude, get over here. Now, is he moving forward towards me? does not look like that so I can actually move this guy okay so he's not moving waste of stakes there stakes are never good to defend I wish they could deploy them anywhere you know e even th that wouldn't actually be a bad idea just it would cause most uh, most units to require some rebalancing but other than that, it would be awesome, actually. Because the AI can actually do that, and you should be able to do so as well. Now let's position these guys over there. My general can go here. Actually, you're going to go through those uh, stakes. Let's just go here, here, and here. And now you're in a good position to go here. That's it. Everyone is moving in. Now my... This guy needs to run. Actually, everyone runs. Run, run, run. Is he moving in? Doesn't look... Oh, it does look like that. Okay, where is he deployed? Oh, he's really badly deployed, I would say. Now, I'm going to wait for that. Come on, dude. Let's go. I'm six. Let's go. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, you... Uh, where am I going to go? Okay, you're going to go here. You are going to go here. That's it. And you are going to go ahead of all of this. That's it. And you... Horseman, you're gonna go on this side, perhaps. That's it. Everyone runs into position. Come on. Let's make sure that we get them into a good spot. Okay. Fast forward. Come on. Those are some horse guards, actually. That's heavy cavalry. That's not missile cavalry. So I gotta make sure that I do not lose anything to, for this. That's a scary army. I like how he puts the skirmishes like this, actually. Hmm, that's some scary army. Gotta say. He's moving in his step raiders because these are missile cavalry. He likes to use them. But it's completely ineffective when you have elves. Because, well, what do you know? They die really easily to archer fire. They're actually trying to go against my other archer, I believe. No? No, they're just cutting on an, an edge. What is here? Look in our room, the bodyguards. Okay, I cannot survive with these guys. So I'm just going to move them over there. That's it. Now, how is everything going on here? Step Raiders, they are... Oh! They're suffering heavily. They're going to lose a lot. Come on, stop your fire. You guys, can you hit those look in our rims? You cannot. So let's just move over here. Oh, actually, stop your fire. You will be able to attack them. Okay. Infantry, let's deploy here. If we continue like this, Fast, we'll please. Heavy cavalry, you're pursuing a guy. So you're going to stop pursuing that guy. 
Let's move over here so that you can flank properly. My infantry is deploying, certainly. That horse guard, oh boy. Come on, just get the best units out. That's it, hit the general. Good. They're hitting sap hunters and lucky ring bodyguards. I should be able to deal with them fairly easily now. I'm not going to move my archers just so can, they can get some extra shots now. Now you archers, you can certainly move in. Infantry, you can move here. Let's go. Now these archers can actually move closer. Go. Oh, my general can move here. Go quickly. Can my archers hit anyone? No, they can't. Okay, let's see if we can draw them out once more. Because he's been losing a few men here and there. Now, I can... I should definitely be able to use these Noretum Warriors like this. Then what I want is my other archers. They are going to defy themselves and attack on two angles as soon as they uh, are, you know, trying to attack here. Oh, they deployed some stakes on this side. Gotta be careful about that. Let's go here and redeploy a little bit better. Good, you are deploying. You're going to be able to start destroying these Balshot tribesmen. Okay, no any more warriors. You're gonna go over here. That's it. Get out of there. Units, you're gonna go into guard mode. These archers will be able to clear up these horse guards. Certainly, good. He's going to charge the middle with that. Almost got my Noretimo Warriors. That's it. Horse Guard is doing some good damage. Let's move these guys over here. Now, you... Uh, look at Narim. I certainly need to charge them. But I gotta be careful about everything there. Okay, these swords... Okay, Imlaris Guards, take care of those. That's it. Ball shot. Okay, now... No need for that, actually. Let's go with my general here. I'm losing a few men, but that's mostly because, well, he's doing a good job here. Let's go. What is that? Look at flag ring. Look at gamp ring. Okay, you're gonna move over there. Gotta be careful about those stakes. Let's go through this area. That's it. I don't know why he's moving like this, but oh well. Charge them up. Charge those bodyguards. That's it. You're going to charge those Lokenar and the Step Hunters. Charge them up. Okay, you're going to clear up everything else. Okay. Start clearing the worst units of theirs. My general. Charge over here. Charge and charge. You guys can charge or attack here. You can actually attack actually attack these guys. Come on. These heavy cavalry is losing heavily. These look in our rim are also losing a little bit. I'm gonna get these dudes. Take that away. Let's go, you nobles. Finally get over here. Let's charge here. These Loki, they need to be charged. Heavy Cavalry, let's move you away so that you can charge those. Charge and counter charge, that's exactly what we need. Oh boy, what are you doing? General's Bodyguard, you can charge here. You should be able to charge over there. Charge here, charge here, that's about it. Yeah, they lost half their men, but I'm losing way too many troops. Well, I'm gonna get a lot of reinforcements, so so long as I can still fight, I guess I'm in a good position. Strike them down over there. Oh, come on. I need you to charge, not just fight them. Come on, the Loki bodyguard. Oh, they're suffering. So many losses. General's bodyguard, get out of there. You get out of there. You says, just move here. 
Well, they are under attack, so I don't need that. Let's charge, charge. Users, you're gonna charge them as well here. Losing most of my men that I'm losing is actually the infantry, so... Oh! They're fighting to the death! Very nice! These are fighting to the death, that's good! Now let's start pursuing everyone, shall we? That's it. Actually, you can still attack in melee. That's about it. Now, Loki Rim Bodyguard certainly needs to be charged with everyone. Generals, General Bodyguard, wh where is him? Oh, we cleared him up. That's nice. And how about here? My Boquini are actually moving with no reason. I guess I misinterpreted what I should be doing. These guys just go here, here, you're gonna be protected here. That's it. We killed the general. We killed him. Good, very nice. Now everything that I need is actually here. My archers are going to do everything that it's necessary. Come on, Boquendi, do your worst. Clear those Loki Gamp rims. That's nice. They have so much armor. They're routing now. So this means that they will die easily. And now my archers are actually going to start attacking these step hunters. Poor boys. That's it. That's a massacre. Continue the battle. Yay. Okay, so 20 there. 7 here. I guess I don't need anything else. I can just skip the rest. Good. I lost 20% of my men here. 271. Actually, only 10%. Because I got a lot of casualties healed up. Look at that. That's good. That's actually so much better. Okay, quite a long episode that this was. Yeah, I'm talking, talking like Yoda. A long episode this was. So... We are getting reinforcements. We defeated that siege deck. We engaged this rune army. Quite a good stuff for this episode. I'm going to leave for now. Let me execute. Excellent. I'm actually going to put my army in Dornal Hak for a little bit. That's it. Let's merge my troops. Oh, I can leave a, a Bo Quindy here. And no. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Retinue expands, that's always nice. And we're gonna have to fight this army as well. But that's... That's of no importance, because my units will be able to reinforce them in a few turns. Let me move here. Yeah. We're also moving this guy. In two turns he'll be in Austin Gale. Is there any army that I should be worried about? Doesn't look like, so that's good news for us. How about here? Doesn't look like, so yeah. In two turns we'll be besieging the last Dol Guldurian armies and cities. We will capture them and then we will be able to proceed into Mordor's lands. That is exactly my objective. So one thing is, I think this army is going to keep getting replenished. Um, with my reinforcements I'm going to pinpoint every single reinforcement over here so that I don't need to do a lot of movements around. Yeah, that appears to be a good idea. So cheers guys and goodbye. Thank you guys for watching.